Hello, my Green Zone friends. Um, this week, I thought for our mindful moment, I would talk about uh, a theme where we're doing this month about painful conversations. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the kinds of cycles we get into in painful conversations. And this is a particular framework developed by a Susan Gillis Chapman who developed uh, our method here that we're teaching. And that is the cycle known as mindless heart and heartless mind. Now, without going into a lot of detail, you know, we do in our advanced courses, we'll go into tremendous detail about each of these. But today I wanna to keep it super simple. So the, the simple version of this is that in painful conversations, there's often somebody who is focused on judgment. And then there's another person who's focused on staying connected at all costs. Now, excuse me, neither of these are, are actual communication. Let's actually make that clear. Real communication is a dynamic flow that happens between us. And it's uh, nobody's in control. We're both making it together. We both have something to contribute. And it's a, it's a, a co-creation. It's an art, you could say, almost say it's an artistic co-creation. These two cycles that I'm talking about are really when we become mindless, when we lose touch with ourself, with our partner. And uh, I'm just gonna show a simple diagram of this. We're not gonna spend a lot of time on this, but just, just the idea that, you know, one person is afraid of isolation. And so when, I, when I'm in that state, I can grasp at my conversation partner and say, listen, I'll do anything to stay connected to you. Um, I'll even agree with things I don't agree with just to stay connected to you. Uh, you know, I'll, like essentially I'll lie, right? <laughs> That's called a lie. And uh, I'll let you, I'll tell you I agree with you even when I really don't. And the other person who's afraid of pain is pushing back saying, no, get away from me. What's wrong with you? And these two feed off each other. They, it's like, a, you know, together they form a kind of whirlpool that is swirling. And it's a very painful um, situation. And I want I wanna just say that this is not the way conversations have to be. You know, many of us are very familiar with this kind of cycle. We've been on probably on both sides of it. The irony is that when you're on one side of it, sometimes you switch to the other side. You know, before you're the, you're the tough person and then later you're the, you're the soft person who just wants to, to connect again. And it switches and it switches and it switches. But this is not connection. I really wanna say that. This is painful for a reason. And it's that it's not really who we are. Real connection is actually a mindful way of speaking from the basis of who we really are. And if we don't agree with somebody, then there's a disagreement but it doesn't have to be about judgment. And a disagreement also doesn't have to be a disconnection. It, it's just an acknowledgement of real difference there. So yes, there's a little bit of um, a distance because we can't quite see eye to eye, but it doesn't mean, you know, you're not a full human being to me. Even if I actually have to have a lot of distance, which can be the case sometimes like get stay away, stay back, but you're a human being, I need to stay back. So this is just to say that, you know, the painful cycles we get caught in are not fundamental to communication. That's the really good news that we offer here is that there are ways to be real and there are ways to be connected. And there were ways to be with each other that are not unrealistic. You know, what a concept, huh? We don't have to be mush balls who just accept anything that comes in, um, nor do we have to be incredibly harsh and, and cutting 
and push everyone away from us. We could actually flow with each other, including all of our intelligence, including all of our heart at the same time. How wonderful would that be? Okay, take good, good care.